All right, I'm gonna show you how to rank a table of values using the multi-row tool. Um, this source of values I created myself in, in Excel. It's just a bunch of regions, some random countries, why well, the countries are relevant to the regions, and then some random values. And so I took this, I copied and pasted it in the text input tool, and that's what we're starting with, okay? So to use the multi-row tool, um, similar to the child tool, it's kind of, it needs some structure of the data going in, so we're gonna first sort it, okay? Because you see here, um, there is no sort value. Well, it's not true, it's sorted by, well, not even then, I, I randomly put these groups. So it's not sorted by anything, so let's give it some structure. So let's sort it um, by the value, but descending, because typically, when you rank something, the value is the, uh, is the highest up there, okay? So now let's use the multi-row formula tool. And so like, uh, like its name, uh, what it is, is it's gonna apply some expression and look at every single record. Okay, so then in this case, we wanna just do a very basic um, value ranking. So uh, we're gonna have to take, uh, in this expression box, we're gonna have to write uh, an appropriate expression. And so um, even before we get there though, let's set it up correctly. So um, we're not gonna update an existing field. We're actually gonna create a new field called ranking and it is appropriately typed in as an integer 32, okay? Number of rows we leave the same because we only wanna look at the previous or, or yeah, we only wanna look at the previous row. We don't really care about the f uh, row ahead of us. So we'll leave it at one. We don't need to group by. And so now let's write our expression. One thing, if you're not familiar with the expression box is that um, it is not an ex uh, it is not an active expression evaluator, and so what I mean by that is if you write a wrong expression, it won't tell you it's wrong until um, until you run it. Unlike the formula tool, which kind of evaluates things as you're typing it, and so it kind of gives you that heads up. So in this case, um, the expression that we're going to use is a very basic if uh, if then else statement. So we're just going to look at the value field, and we're going to say, hey, if the um, if the current value, all right does not equal the prior value, all right, then we're gonna give it a, uh, we're gonna give it a value. So we're gonna do the ranking plus one, all right. But if it, um, so if it doesn't equal it, then, and then just add one to the ranking. But if it does equal it, then we're just gonna say, it's the same ranking as before. And then we'll close it up, end if, and we'll run it. And if you see here, it should be correct. One thing to note that um, ties um, is not inherently broken down by nature of the expression that we're writing. So if you see here, 61, 61 is both tied at two. There are ways, of course, for you to break it down um, even more, uh, more specifically, but you're gonna have to rely on the other fields like country and group. And so for example, if you wanted to group it by, by, group, it by group or region, if you will, all you'd have to do is just write a nested if statement in the expressions box. So what I mean by that is if you make this its own thing, we say if, uh, if the current group is equal, does not equal, oh, well, if the current group equals the prior group, then apply this logic, else start back at one and if. Oh. Also, it's gonna break because, um, once again, you have to give the multi-row tool some structure. So we're gonna to have to go back here. We're gonna to go to group, and we're just gonna give it some structure. We're gonna put it above because we wanna first sort by group first and then value, all right? So let's look at that. So now it's all sorted by group alphabetically, A, B, C, D, and then value by uh, after group. So 40 is first for Asia, North America 61. Now, if you do it this way, if you see here, now it should work, all right? so. Because of this logic, it looks at the groups first, and then it applies your, your numbering logic. And then if it doesn't, if the groups are not equal, then it's just gonna restart at one. And so this would be how you'd rank with multi-row. And then specifically what I just showed you would be how you'd rank using multiple fields.